Master Chow Chin Chows, Lancer and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon uh, Insurgents Metroid Run Challenge. In our last episode, we went to the Mount... Uh, we were inside the Mount Rose Crater, and then we dealt with the Infernal Colsis. And today, you join me back in my secret base where I have been leveling up my Pokemon up to the levels they are now, which I am about to show you, because everyone is level 82, ready to take on the next uh, stage in the games. So we also, so we have Rosebud. Uh, I've also looked at Moosets and stuff like that to help out. So we have Rosebud level 82 with Moonblast, Pedal Dance, Calm Mind, and Psychic. Yes, I taught it Calm Mind. I am very, very excited to see where Calm Mind takes us. Because the fact is, I know how good a wall floor just is. So, it's time for it to learn Calm Mind to make it sure that it can do even better with that. Calm Mind was the prize we got from there uh, facing the 7th gym. Then we have Piggy level 82 with Ice Fang, Earthquake, Blizzard and Ancient Power. Not much has changed on Piggy's moveset, really. Then we have Weedabix, the Delta Pidgeite. Level 82 with Dragon Dance, Glare, Outrage, and Crunch. This thing is absolutely amazing. I love my Delta Pidgey and I... Uh, my Delta Pidgey. Yeah, uh, did my Delta Pidgey Ot, I should say. Then we have Jaws, my Delta Haxorus. Level 82 with Sword Stance, Crunch, Aerial Ace, and Heavy Slam. I kept the same moveset as always. There was time when we wanted to learn Giga Impact, but I really... I like Giga Impact. I just don't like rest. Uh, the fact I have to recharge for a turn. It's a very powerful move. It's just the whole... I have to wait to learn... I have to wait? No, I'm not into waiting. I'm not into waiting. Uh, and then we have Wet Lights. My level 82 Delta Lily Gallant. Uh, who is our water type, whose fire water type has uh, V moves, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Surf, and Calm Mind. So this is going to be a special attacking beast. It doesn't, it's not very defensive, but it is a, it's going to be a very special attacking beast, is this thing. It's going to be amazing. And then we have Sage, my Tyranitar, with the Tyranitar our armor. Level 82 with Shadow Claw, Stone Edge, Crunch, and Earthquake. That is the team. Rather quickly, I need to get Lefties back on uh, Rosebud and take. It was Rosebud was the last Pokemon that was grinded. Uh, so leftovers, please. Now today we're not going to continue on with the story just at the start. We will continue on with the story later. But for the moment in time, I want to go and do a quest. So let's go and do a quest. This is the Pika Taxi guy who's in my secret base. What's up? Call me the Pika Taxi guy. My taxi uh, for you is no cost. We'll get uh, we'll get to wherever you need to go. As long as you've been there before, that is. Are you interested? I also have a quest for you. If you, uh, I might have a quest for you as well. Quest? Oh, excellent. You see, there's a small garage in Torren where I live uh, and maintain my taxi. We're so close to an awesome upgrade, but my garage has been broken into and pieces were stolen. There are on uh, only two pieces were stolen, thankfully. Please keep an eye out for them. You might be able to... Uh, you might find them rese being resold. Or they might have been buried some, uh, somewhere up in a mountain for all I know. Let me know when you find both of them. I have one of these parts in my bag right now. The other part is available on the black market. So, we need to go to Helio City and find this other part. And then buy it. And then we can uh, uh, upgrade our Pika Taxi to the Amolga Taxi, which is so cool. Because the Amolga Taxi allows us to soar. Uh, like uh, like the Eon Flute would allow us to soar throughout the region uh, in Auras. So that's what I'm planning to do today. And then we're planning to get on with the story and find out where we need to go next on our search for the 8th Gym.
So here we are back in the black market. Can I? It requires a key to unlock this door. Oh, I don't have a key. I don't have a key for the perfectionist cult. As of yet, I will learn what that key is and we will go and we will do that in time. But the perfectionist cult is cool and all, but we still need to learn much more about them. So here we are back in the black market and I think it's one of these stores around here that sells what I need. And it's available after the Sith gym. Buy junk. Hey, taxi machine piece. It's available for five grand. And what other junk you have? You have the light ball, a sl black sludge, the shock drive, King's Rock, and a whipped dream. Okay. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, what do you have? Big root, heel powder, timer ball, chill drive, sachet, and the stick. And you? Skull f Oh, I could buy a skull fossil. Okay, I'll buy a fossil. I have the fossil maniac in my uh, uh, secret base as well. So I'll buy that. And I'll buy the old amber too. So I'll buy those. You also have the douse drive, some energy powder, dusk balls, the oval charm, ice heel, and ice heels as well. And you... You have the Rock Gem, the ability to buy uh, multiple EXP shares, uh, Ultra Balls, Burn Drive, the Energy Root, and the Fit Club. All right, cool. I have multiple experience shares, so I don't need that right now. And I also have the Lucky Egg, so, you know, but that's my ascent. That's, since I have the Lucky Egg now, the grinding is so much easier. It's just so much easier to grind now I have the Lucky Egg. Because I can just use my Ordino Trainer. And get myself up to levels that way. Because like I think you can get like level 80s and level 90s. And Ordino, uh, these Ordinos that you have in the secret base only have, uh, only have one move. Healing Wish. Which kills them. In order to, uh, in order to heal the next one up. But... Uh, since the next one up doesn't need healing, there's no point in it. But it, so it just kills them, and you just get experience from it. And then the final one, uh, as every one of them has free, the final one just has healing wish, and will only hit you with healing. It will only try and healing wish throughout the entire adventure, and you'll ne it'll never get anywhere. It will never attack you. So you, it's in perfect. It's just perfect to do that as your way of getting experience. So now we have both pieces. Does that mean we can uh, do the thing we need to do? Hey, mate. I have both pieces for you. What's this? You found both taxi pieces? Oh, boy. Hold on. You know what this means? I finally, com I finally completed my Amolga taxi. A modification that, uh, that lets... You fly above Torrin. That's right, fly. Soaring in the world is it's incredible. Please allow it me to please let me know if it's interest you. Um what's up? I'm the Pika Taxi Guy. Or oh, I guess now I'm the Amolga Taxi Guy. Hey. Which would you rather take? The Amolga Taxi and soar over Torrin or the Pika Taxi and let you drive anywhere you want? I want to try the Amolga Taxi. Off to the skies we go. Press Q and W to turn. I might need a keyboard for this. Whilst uh, and whilst T and Y zoom in and out. Okay. This is awesome. I mean, the slowdown is um, immense with this, but look at this! This is awesome. Like, this is a fun. This is fun. Their material for today's episode. Oh my god, this is awesome. Where do I need to go anywhere? Well, I need to go to Dayrun Town. 
Did I run into Pelopus up here? I can totally run into Pelopus up here. Are they... And they get randomized. It's a level 84 Azoral. That is cool. I need to go to the Daron town. Okay. Auto save on. That's not what I meant to do. How do I get down? I want to fly. I, I want to stop now. I, I want to go here. This is where I want to be. But how do I get out of this? How do I land this thing? How do I land this thing? Oh, that's how you land it. Okay. So I decided to like zoom in uh, on the Pokemon Center and that's how I land that's how I land it. Okay. But that's cool. It's a little it's a little thing to get your head round, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Very like uh, very much like it. Okay, so is this where I need to go? I don't have waterfall. Can I hot wait. Can I hot swap? Can I hot like tell you what? Go here. And then I can can I toot my flute while surfing? That's the question. Can I toot my flute whilst surfing? I can totally toot my flute while surfing. Heart swap. But it's right there. There's a... There's a... Maybe I gotta talk to Manaphy when I see the shower. I'll put my keyboard back now because I'm not soaring. Heart stop. But you're right there. Okay, maybe I can't do it while surfing. I can definitely make Manaphy appear when I'm surfing, but it won't actually activate when I'm surfing. Maybe that's what it is. I'm learning. I've only just got the ability to heart swap. There we go. It doesn't work when you're heart swapping. There we go. That's how I get to the Darren Cave. Okay. Le learning. I have learnt. I have figured out how to use heart swap. Because I don't have the abilities to, uh, uh, to use waterfall just yet. But I will soon, hopefully. It's just not just yet. We will soon, hopefully. Nice. Corsola down. All right, what's next? What is next? Tangler. I can't beat a Tangler. Well, not with you anyway. I mean, I think I could do some serious damage to the Tangler, but I'm going to get... I am not going to be able to beat this thing. But I'm going to do some serious damage with uh, free turn... With three turn pedal dance. Oh, so close! So close to killing it. I'm gonna have to, uh, but I'm gonna have to get out of here. I came so close. I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to Weedabix here. Because if I go to anyone else, they're gonna get hurt by Power Whip. So it's best to just go into Weedabix and go for the crunch with this amount of HP lost. 
crunch. There we go. Okay, so let's talk about things whilst we are uh, going through. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. I need to switch. Because now I can probably get wet lights in. Anyway, so, yeah, let's talk about things. So last night, Gotaku, uh, the popular internet magazine, released an, uh, released an article. Uh, where they talk to about Pokemon Showdown, where they talk to other, uh, where they talk to various Pokemon YouTubers uh, and other people around the competitive Pokemon industry, and a lot of people are saying this could be the end of Showdown due to the fact that pack articles like Kotaku, Porygon, uh, 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 Polygon, sorry, not Porygon. <laughs> have uh, ended Pokemon ROM hacks and uh, Pokemon fan-made games, such as well, Pokemon Prism version, Pokemon Uranium version, and some of the games that we have been playing or have played on our channel right now. Oh, in the past. Hell, if you've, uh, uh, things like uh, Pixelmon has also gone down in time. Pixelmon is still around. It's just, it's been hurt a lot uh, by uh, that article. And say, uh, uh, well, not uh, it's been hurt a lot by being shut down. It's not. It's still around. You can still use Pixelmon. Pixelmon has actually seen an influx in actual use in the past pre uh, since it's been shut down. It's actually uh, still available for people to use, and people have taken you know. For something, once something's on the internet, it's never truly gone. Well, and that is the thing, and that is another great thing about Pokemon in uh, Showdown. It is an open source thing, so anyone can pick up the can pick up the source code and pick it up from where it left off. But the fact is, no matter what, that game uh, could never be anything as big as what Showdown was. It took it's taken years for Showdown to become the essential backbone of the Pokemon battling community. Will Pokemon Showdown survive? Uh, will the competitive Pokemon survive without Showdown? Yes, competitive Pokemon will survive without Showdown. But it is an essential part of the Pokemon. Uh, it is an essential part. It is critical to uh, the uh, to the Pokemon sh uh, to the Pokemon battle competitive. Without Showdown, I wouldn't know how to build teams for Draft League. I wouldn't even know Draft... I got a... He got a crit. He got a crit reversal! I wouldn't even know Draft League was a thing without Showdown, honestly. But, it's like, without things that the Pokey Draft Kings League, I wouldn't have known that, uh, draft, uh, that Draft League was a thing. And I literally love draft league i am a huge fan of draft league i'm coming back into draft league over the next couple of years uh well uh, with gen 8 coming up you know i am the new coach of the uh forest green rowlet yes that's my new team that is going to be in sword and shield and i love i love competitive battling i don't i mean i don't know too much about vgc i've never played vgc in my entire life eve but it is important to those people who pl do play VGC. You want a Delta Giraffe rig for any elemental, uh, for any Pokemon with an elemental Hyper Beam, like Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, Hydro Cannon. No, that is an is an interesting trade. There, you, she'll take any Pokemon. It's a preferable. It's a starter Pokemon because those are the ones that can learn elemental Hyper Beams. Uh, but like she'll give you the Delta Giraffe rig for them. This is cool. Oh, you are. You are the Delta Elekid. I think you're rock type. Yes, you are. All right, cool. Talon Flame. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna. It's not gonna kill, but. It's going to seriously hurt me because I know you don't have an item. And, of course, also, I'm burnt now. Great. Talon Flame could kill. Uh, Talon Flames are scary. Um, 
I guess I need to go into wet lights here because my other idea would be uh, Sage, but Sage is dead right now. So that's not the best idea. Surf? You're not holding an item, so this is going to really hurt. See, now look, look how much damage that did. Look how much damage that did. But there we go. Okay. But I don't... I'm not sure if this is going to be the end for uh, Pokemon Showdown just yet. It's a good... Showdown is uh, amazing. I love Showdown. Um, team, The team builder, amazing thing. The community is also amazing because I've met so many good friends through doing Draft League. And that's all because of Showdown. So it's just... It is awesome. I love Showdown. Um, but... If Showdown wants to die, would competitive Pokemon live on? Yes, competitive Pokemon would live on. But it would be emotionally crippled. I still think this, uh, that we would ha have a lot uh, of work to do. And of course, pe some people would probably say that is the end of their Pokemon journey. They would probably stop playing Pokemon because that uh, because showdown doesn't exist anymore they would stop and that is essentially something i don't like that people will stop playing but people will stop playing pokemon because pokemon showdown doesn't exist and it will become like that but hopefully nintendo actually sees showdown for what it is which is an essential a pokemon battling simulator uh, and how much of an outcry there is in the community for that to exist. I want a competitive Pokemon showed an actual official showdown, but uh, an actual official version of Showdown made by Nintendo, made by the Pokemon Company. Hey. If you want, you could call it Pokemon Stadium Three. Hey. It's a battle simulator. It's a team builder. It's a tournament maker. It's everything you need in one package and it's available on on your mobile uh, on your switch and of course on t on pc as well where's and you pay it and maybe it's a monthly fee i don't know but that would be an official service why shouldn't that exist it's a great idea in my personal books it's a great idea you guys can let me know in the comment section down below would you uh, would you pay Let's say, I don't know, $9.99 a month for this, uh, for an official Pokemon uh, battle simulator. Uh, for is po what essentially what Pokemon Showdown would be in the creation of, you know, uh, but made officially by Pokemon, by Nintendo, by the people who actually want, uh, you know, you actually want to be making official Pokemon battle simulators. So let me know in the comment section down below. I was not expecting to tell the Delta uh, Cipher with Cross Chop. I was not expecting this. I'm actually in a bit of trouble because of it. Cross Chop is going to kill me! Oh, I'm so... That's a crit! I'm actually quite weak to fighting. Um, Ice Cold Spear shouldn't kill me. It's just normal damage. Um, I have to go. F I have to go for the earthquake. Real close combat. Why? Why do you have all these super good moves? Why Delta Cipher? Jaws, you're going to have to come in here and save me because I don't know if I can get out of this alive. Heavy Slam, go. Jaws. Oh my God, Jaws. Thank you so much. You saved my life. And a Remoraid. Kill it. Oh my God. That was awful. That was not good. That was not good.
What's over here then? Uh, Nothing. All right, fine. Uh, this way? No, nothing. Okay. I don't want to face her. Does that my Pokemon are like quite crippled right now? Can I avoid her by going onto the water? I can. I can avoid her by going onto the water. I'm actually supposed to go onto the water. I'll come back and face her off screen. I don't care about you. I already have one of you too. Okay. You. I can avoid you by going around you like this. Please be a Pokemon Center. Nara Town. Okay. I am in Nara Town. Oh, wait. You're one of the Giratina cultists. Okay. Hi. You look small. Not just you. Your people. There's just something very fragile about you. It's odd. It's very different. I'm not sure how to describe it. You don't know who I am, do you? You haven't seen much of us, nor will you. Until we make our move. I'm sorry. But there's something we need to do. Everything is just as the mistress predicted. You are, and the mercenary, the fake prophet, hired to take down the infernal cult. The hired to take down the infernal cult. You look down on the abyssal cult by your uh, by yourself. And now the shards of the crystal are moving again. Very soon you will see the true power of the crystal. Of our crystal. I really... I really am sorry. But it's time for the Earth to return to the mirror. What the hell are they on about? It's so in... It's so weird. Heal me up please, Nurse Joy. <laughs> I need this more now than it... Uh, now more than ever. Heal me up, please. Okay, everyone is back alive. Let's go and let's go and deal with the people we mi uh, missed out on on the previous route. Because we missed two trainers. I want to deal with them before we end off today's episode. Let's deal with these people now. All right, what you got for me? You have one Pokemon. You have a Trubbish. How much is a psychic doing? It's not stab, but you're level 77. Come on, you're a trubbish. You're going to die from this. Nice. Okay, that was that was quintessentially easy. Like really, really easy. And what about you? I avoided you last time, but let's deal with you now. Three Pokemon, you start with an Electivire. I mean, the Pokemon to deal with this is Sage. As long as there's no fighting type moves, I'm pretty much okay to, to deal with this with Sage. Ha, Giga Impact means you have to rest. Uh, Earthquake. And this should kill. This should kill. I'm just going to take a long time because Electivire has quite a bit of HP. Uh, Hopip. T that's just too easy. I'm going to stay in. Stone Edge. Die. There we go. And a Solosis. Again, two. Oh, wait. oh, you're Delta Solosis. Are you still too easy? Are you? S Can I still beat you up with a crunch? I can! Alright, cool, that was easy!
I mean, I needed healing, so... And I did, there was definitely a reason for why I had to avoid them, but, you know, I mean, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Hello. Welcome, Traveller. You've just, uh, in time for the Naru Town Annual Trainers Market. You'll be able to find most, uh, splendorful items here. Okay, what do we have? I am the energy guru. I only sell the most mystical of items. You sell... Oh, you sell the powders that uh, the Pokemon hate. But I actually like. Okay. I am the over... over uh, compendicizing tough guy. I'm... I might have a Megastone for you. Ooh. What Megastones you got? Kangaskhan at night, Swampert at night, Cacturn at night, Lapunny uh, No, Camera up tonight, Lapunny at night, uh, God of War night, Galai at night, Medicham at night, Ben at night. Okay. I don't have any of those, but that's cool. You are the X Queen. You sell X items. Okay. Not really interested in you, X-Queen. You are the Pokemon Pacific Lord. I sell Pokemon Pacific items, okay? Fit Club, Lucky Punch, uh, Light Ball, Quick Powder, Metal Powder, Stick, and a Soul Do! 20 grand, but that is that would be useful if I had a Latios or a Latias. That is awesome. I am the M Misk Mistress. I sell a Misk of items. Oh, you sell the flutes. Okay. And an item ur urge. What the hell is this? I when used in the Wonder Launcher, it's it causes a ally Pokemon to use its held item. What the hell is the Wonder Launcher? I think it was this Gen 5 feature that uh, never made it out of Gen 5. I honestly have no idea what this feature is. I never used it. I know of its existence, but I've never used it. Um, when used... And then there's the ability urge. When used in a, a Wonder Launcher battle, it activates the ability of an a Pokemon. But what is it? I've never used a Wonder Launcher before. An item drop. When used in any battle, it causes an ally Pokemon to drop an I held item. That's not a bad idea, but it also depends on whether you've actually got an item, you know, got a Pokemon that actually is uh, has a held item. That is possibly quite a good use, uh, useful item. I, I found this beautiful leaf. At last fall. Would you like to look at it? Sure. Wonderful. I hope you like the look of it. What is this leaf? That you've... You didn't show me the leaf. That was weird. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to buy in so little time. Where do I... What do I get? There's a uh, the cave down south leads to Marana Town. It's super convenient if you're heading in that uh, direction, but it's only one way, so you have to make sure you've done all you need to do first. Oh, okay, interesting. I mean, I have fly, so I can get back here. So that's it's not like it's the be or end or way of getting back here, but that's cool. I saw Diana, the leader of the Serene City Gym, run through to Naru Town. Uh, run through Naru Town the other day. I wonder what that's all about. My daddy uh, was telling me how two of the bad guys are gone now. That's good. I hope all the bad guys are gone one day. Well, hopefully, with my help, that'll happen. I could swear I saw a rare dragon Pokemon flying over Naru Town earlier. It looked blue. Uh, 
and it was tailed by a similar poke a similar red one maybe minutes later could it be no there's no way most pokemon are from are only in hoenn right they might be here too what's that creepy garatina guy looking all about for he's not a cultist there's no there aren't a garatina cultists as far as i know so I don't want to get met and get dressed up. Why do you want to get dressed up like that? Well, there's a possibility there is a Kavgaratina cultist, but they're like so in secretive that they don't they don't want to let their existence known until you know until it's absolutely time to strike. Hello, sweetie. Do you want a gift? Uh, ooh, you give me a fire stone, water stone, or thunder stone. I don't really need these, but thank you. I'll take a thunder stone. I only get one. I think I can buy them from the Mart in Hero City anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's why I said I don't really need them right now. You know, I've been seeing those Giratina weirdos around a lot lately. Thankfully, they don't seem to be evil. Those cultists just seem a little unsettling. You know, like if you're a cult member, if you're not a cult member, why do you dress like that? And who's this mistress they keep talking about? Ah, whatever. I'm sure it's totally innocent, right? And fine, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Whatever they're up to, it's totally fine. I'm sure... It's not going to affect the end game of this series. But it might. It honestly might. You seem pretty far off east. You know... Wait. You know where the Pokemon mask is? Uh, the Pokemon League is? The freaking... Uh, you know where that goes? The freaking Pokemon League. That's right. Isn't that crazy? The Pokemon... The Pokemon League? You've got to have all the badges, of course. Uh, and nobody's has eight anymore, which sucks. True, but that doesn't mean there's not ways to get an eighth gym badge. If you look, if you're looking for something, go and check out the trainer market. There's plenty of things to get for your journey there. There is. True. Oh, I'm sorry. I only talk to talented people. Please leave now. Oh, I am hurt. I am hurt by you. There's the Amolga taxi guy. Okay. Wait. East Nexatown. Victory Road. Oh. Okay. We had the, uh, we've had the trainer after we've had trainer after trainer come through here re ready to end their adventures. As on on Victory Road, but only to be turned around by those guards. The first Olga is gone, so there's no eighth badge anymore. I mean, it's probably for the best. I don't think anyone uh, would beat our Elite Four anyways. You don't know that. You don't know that at all, mate. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end off today's episode of the Pokemon Insurgents Metroid Run Challenge. In the next episode... We will continue on. I'm going to actually talk to this guy before we end off today's episode. And, uh, and we'll head towards uh, the gym where the 8th gym... Uh, the uh, place where the 8th gym was. I think it's like Ness... Right, we're in here. We're here. And that leads to Nexa Town and Victory Road in the Pokemon League. We are heading here. Mid Midnight Town? Yeah, that's where we're are we heading to Midnight Town? Is that where we're heading? I think it might be. Well we go ahead further on to here. That's where we go ahead. That's what we got to go in here. I don't know where the uh, vest goes, but I think that's where we need to go. I honestly don't have... 
the narrow border. Okay. Narrow border. Into... I have no idea where I'm going, but like I knew, I know I need to go through this cave. But I will go for that cave in the next episode. Would you like to trade Pokemon? You have a... I'll trade you my secret Delta species Pokemon for any Pokemon level 52. Okay, interesting. I don't have any Pokemon level 52, but that's rather interesting. Anyway, until next time, I am Lantern Joe. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, me to love Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.